Hi, my name is Adrian Nostra with Texas Instruments, and today I'll be showing you how to use the MSP430 Value Line Launchpad with the CC3000 booster pack. Before we get started, you're going to need the MSP430 Value Line Launchpad, you're going to need the CC3000 booster pack, a wireless router, a computer, and an Android device. So today we're going to be working with the basic Wi-Fi application. And you can find this manual online on the link below. So we want to get our hardware set up. So first, the MSP430 uh, must be configured to use the hardware UART. Uh, to do this, you want to make sure that the TXD and RXD jumper pins are horizontal or parallel, parallel to the dash line on the board. The CC3000 booster pack J13 jumper should be set to pins 1 and 2 or closest to the thick white line. The J2 jumper should be set to pins 2 and 3 for user mode. Now when connecting the boards together, the J1 pins on the launch pad should mate with the J9 pins of the booster pack. No external power is needed for the booster pack itself. So in terms of software, you want to make sure that you download the software that's specific to your launch pad. The links themselves are actually found on this manual. So if you click them, they'll actually take you straight to the download pages. Now you're going to need the MSP430 drivers if you don't have CoComposer Studio. You're also going to need the patch programmer for the MSP430, the launch pad, uh, basic Wi-Fi application, the CC3000 smart config app, in this case I'll be using a mobile handset, and a hyper terminal such as PuTTY. To download the drivers and firmware, uh, you're going to have to go to Start, All Programs, CC3000 Patch Programmer, Your MSP430, and Download Driver Patches. Now this screen will come up. Go ahead and hit any key. Should be loading the file into the device right now. All right, so when it's complete, you're, you're going to want to wait a couple of seconds to have everything settled. OK, go ahead and hit any key. And do the same thing, but this time, install the firmware. So hit any key. Cool. All right, wait a couple seconds again. Like we're good. Now the last thing we're going to install is the actual Wi-Fi binary, the application. So we're going to go ahead and do start all programs, CC3000 SDK, uh, your MSP430, in this case I'm using the G2553, and the download basic Wi-Fi binary. Press any key. Good. Now, if it works correctly, then uh, both of your LEDs on the bottom of your 430 should be lit. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and configure our UART settings for our 430 device. You're going to want to hit Start, uh, Control Panel, Device Manager, And you're going to want to go over to ports and take note of what COM terminal you're using. So in this case, I'm using COM6 for the application you are. Okay. Go ahead and double click on that. Go to port settings and make sure that 
your settings are exactly set to these exact same settings. So your bits per second should be 9,600, data bits at eight, parity at none, stop bits at one, and flow control at none. Go ahead and hit okay. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our putty settings. So our hyper terminal settings. All right, so after you click on the, the putty execution file, this screen should come up. You're gonna to wanna to click on serial, set the com line to whatever com port you're connected to. And on the terminal button, you want to click on force on for the local echo. And for serial, check that everything is the same as your COM port settings, except for flow control. For flow control, you want to set it to none. Now, if you do everything correctly and you hit open, this terminal window should come up. Go ahead and press the S1 button on your board. and the device driver version should show up. That's how you know you did everything correctly so far. All right, so let's go ahead and run the application. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the smart config for your mobile device. Uh, in this instance, I'm actually using an Android device for this. Uh, on your mobile device, go ahead and log on to the access point you want the CC3000 to log on to. Okay, once that happens, open up smart config and the form should automatically populate if you're uh, connected to the desired network. Okay, from there, go ahead and hit start. Okay, now on the PuTTY terminal, go ahead and type in 01. This basically initiates automatic configuration settings and in return, it should also kick back the IP address of the CC3000. So there you have it. Uh, hope you enjoy your new CC3000. Thanks.